Today we are looking at this very new in the um, short supply bag from GWA. This is the micro version of the Citadel that they just released. All in Dyneema fabric goodness, obviously. Uh, I think the official name is the Citadel Micro Dyneema. Now I've reviewed the regular Gen 3. This bag is much better for many, many reasons. Um, but there is still a little bit of room for improvement. But let's just go over the back. So if you're familiar with the Citadel, right, this is basically the same thing, but shorter because the laptop compartment is removed. But let's just start from the front. So this is the classic Citadel look, right, with this very large loop feel, which is great for customizing the back. And then top and bottom pockets because this bag is all Dyneema. This pocket is not their typical tweed stretchy fabric. So it looks great. I personally would prefer them somehow leaving the tweed feet because I really like that feature because it's, it's stretchy and expandable. Now, just for testing though, as with my original review, I put in the same thing, which is my, um, not very big, but still has some volume in it. My um, little Uniqlo vest here right so it does fit into there but because it's not stretchy obviously it's eating up a lot more volume in the main compartment in here it has the first really cool thing is look yellow interior so i love this i really like high vis interior so this is a great addition and then three pockets again you know they are deep vertical it really works well for uh, small pouches or very very small pouches or tools which is what this is for or a pen but if you put something like this in there obviously it's not gonna work but I'm gonna put this back in just to show you how this bag works so great zipper obviously All right aqua guard really well done they change up the pull in their standard pull it's similar with the heat string but they have a plastic tap but now these ones just have a knot so I don't know, I kind of like the original, but you can always change these things out. Top pocket, basically identical to the regular version with the exception of this nice interior. Two pockets, and then this one is further divided, but with a lot of volume, which I like. Right? So it's good for pen, but it's really good for things like tools and flashlights. This goes right in there. And then this is perfect size for my able carry joy pouches a wallet or as a small pouch and then there's room for you know masks and anything else as well so this pocket gets a lot of use and um, the functionality is the same here so let's go to the top handle identical design well padded except it's in Dyneema I'm not sold on this only because I think it feels a little weird uh, being Dyneema and also same construction right the way they have it is the material comes down to just the material itself and then sewn in here again with the crinkly Dyneema it feels a little strange to me to to the touch but obviously it's highly functional and it's very well made back panel basically it's the same design three mesh comfortable straps they somehow widened the straps on the top by a little bit so this is the great thing because a lot of people complain that the the straps are too close to wear and it's interesting that this bag in theory is smaller in terms of volume but they wind this a little bit so for me it fits perfectly this is a great bag feels good on on body standard sternum straps again and then as always i always like that they include these built-in strap keepers. So if you don't know, basically there is a um, elastic loop that's sewn into the end. So all you need to do is roll up your excess webbing and then just kind of fold the stretchy elastic over itself and then it will keep the ends tidy. And all bags should include this. 
and this being you know not a inexpensive bag and i'm glad that they just included this instead of making you having to do your own addition so comfortable strap well padded dynamo in the front they did use the tweed fabric in the back side which is great right because it's not too slippery so i really wish they would use this in the front pocket as well one uh, two things one is that there is no pass through here in the general regular um, gen 3 there is a pass through pocket here that you can use um, for an optional waist strap i believe but not in here minor complaint this whole bag again is full dyneema so it's great because dyneema is expensive the bottom though i'm not sure i want dyneema at the bottom i almost prefer that they just change this out to standard cordura or something to the size so this version is kind of the older citadel version no water bottle pocket instead it has these um, pals rubbing so just to show you can i have attached a um, water bottle pocket from orbit gear so that obviously works but you don't have to do that two compression straps one on each side right here this thing again is really well designed because it basically lets you open the main compartment and have it stopped right here. So you do have to open the whole thing, clamshell. And just by doing it like this, fold down the top, you can pretty much get to everything inside. So for me, this is how I usually use the bag, right? Front, admin, fold this down, and then that should be, I think, the and it's in the way so this is not folding down perfectly top mesh pocket very generously sized so i have my battery pack and my micro med kit in here so look the bag is standing up on its own i can get into it how great is that back so no laptop compartment on the outside there is a well padded compartment on the inside it is suspended not deeply suspended but enough and then the bottom just like the regular version is padded so i think the laptop is pretty protected back here this is a 13 inch 2017 maybe and you can tell there's enough room in here that the new 14 inch would definitely fit not sure about the 16 inch though now let me just open the whole thing up so that you can see so undo the buckles Okay, great zipper, so very smooth operation. Full clam shell. There's another bottom pocket here on the front panel, right? Another bottom pocket. But since this is now sharing space with this one, if you use the outside, probably can't use the inside. Or I think it more sensible uses to have my jacket on the inside. Right, and then leave the outside for a smaller item, and then I can also use the organization pocket in there. Full clamshell, my uh, air stim tech pouch, water bottle. So again, you can leave it outside or leave it inside. I wish just a holder. I know this is very much not a GWA design, but I really am looking for a way to attach this somehow to the back. So that i don't have to have a loose water bottle here i at the same time order these tearaway pouch these are dynamo as well so super cool but obviously you don't have to do this you can just put other pouches here right build up your own storage or use other attachments so very flexible bag you can see the beautiful yellow interior exposed dynamo this is a um, really fun i think good looking and a very functional bag so i'm very glad they came up with the short bus in dynema this really is like one step above the regular version so there you have it the gwa citadel micro dynema version